peace gods and goddesses welcome to my channel i am intuitive flow if you're new if you're returning welcome back this is going to be a mercury um, retrograde in the sign of capricorn um i believe the transit lasts from um December 13th to the 31st, but then I'm also seeing from the December 13th to January 2nd, whatever the case may be, um, energy is fluid. Okay. The reading will be timeless. So whenever you see this reading, um, yeah, tap in. I pray that you all are well. I pray that you all are taking care of yourselves. You're loving yourselves honoring yourselves and those around you so uh, i'm debating if i want to do a collective or break it down by the elements okay break it down by the elements so let's start with capricorn taurus and virgo no okay yeah capricorn taurus virgo since it's in the sign of capricorn mm. I'm hearing scripture and I'm hearing Bible. Okay. So something about the energy of the Harry font are tapping into a more religious side of yourself or getting more familiar with your Bible, your Quran, your um, whatever it is that your religion is or your spiritual belief is. Okay. So, Source wants me to use my Psalms um, deck. <sighs> Holy Divine Spirit Universe Source, please provide me clear and concise messages for the collective. I ask for protection during this reading from my angels, my ancestors, my spirit guides. All that protects me and sees over me in the, in the balance, the ethereal realm. I say, I say, and I say. I say, I say, and I say. What are the messages for the earth signs for this retrograde? Messages for this retrograde. Messages from Psalms. Messages from Psalms. I know the Lord is always with me. I will not I will not be shaken, for he is right by my side my side. I know the Lord is always with me. I will not be shaken, for he is right by my side. Psalm sixteen eight. Okay. Give me one second. All right. Then you have each day the Lord pours his unfailing love upon me and through each and through each night I sing his song. Psalms 42, 8. Okay. So for a lot of you guys, you're very protected at this time. God is right beside you. There's no need to worry or be shaken up. All right. The Lord will fulfill his purpose for me. Your steadfast love, O Lord, endures forever. Psalms 138.8. And then you have, we are the people God watches over, the flock under his care. Psalms 95.7. Ashe. And then I'm also seeing a synchronicity of 8888. So you do have significant changes happening. I feel like this is giving me the world energy. All right, so you're going through, you may have been through major changes, but during this retrograde, I really feel like you're going to have time to just sit back, reflect, connect with the most high, um, see all the seeds that you have sown and what's coming to you. All right, it's the infinity symbol. So it's, it's inevitable for you to be successful, for you to 
not have to work so hard. Things are going to be just coming easily. All right. I'm getting the energy of attracting. All right. The things you're going to be attracting at this time is due to the energy that you you'll be radiating here. God is definitely watching over you during this time. All right. The Lord is for me, so I will have no fear. What can people do to me? Psalms 118.6. All right. So that's given me the no weapon formed against me shall prosper energy. Blessed are blessed are all who take refuge in the Lord. Psalms 2.12. All right. So, yeah, I'm definitely getting energy that it's time for you to understand you're not alone. You're never alone. Okay. Um, I don't know if some of you guys may be dealing with sadness, separation, grief of a partnership, relationship, a loved one. All right. Grief can come in many different forms, shapes, and sizes. So some of you guys may be dealing with that, but Lord God wants you to know that the spirit of the Lord surrounds you. Okay. God is your refuge. Some of you guys may benefit from listening to some gospel music or singing some singing some songs that makes you feel good, okay? Makes you feel heard, makes you feel love or helps you reach the highest highest frequency which is love. All right, the highest frequency of all. Okay. Give me surrender messages for this Mercury and Capricorn, this Mercury retrograde and Capricorn. Okay. Surrender to your intuition. Surrender to trust. So trusting your intuition at this time will be very significant. It will behoove you. It will actually hurt you more to go against your intuition at this time rather than to just trust it. All right. Time into your inner tune into your inner voice be aware of any gut feelings flashes knowings or aha moments that come through to guide you trust yourself in your decisions don't be swayed by other people's strong opinions about what to do take action and be confident that you have chosen the right path okay Surrender to your fear of intimacy. All right. You are ready to be loved. You are ready to let love in compassionately, indefinitely, and compassionately identify and begin to release any patterns that stop you from opening your heart. All right. So some of you guys definitely could have um, dealt with a you know, a loss, a breakup, or you could have had very estranged relationships or relationships that just were not good. <laughs> they weren't great. They weren't exceptional. They weren't what you thought they were going to be. So you could have closed your heart out. I feel like during this Mercury retrograde in Capricorn, you're definitely being guided to open your heart again. It doesn't have to be to another person. It just can be to the energy of love, just opening your heart back up. For some of you guys, this could be someone else because there are two people in this photo. So you could be um, you could be opening up to a new uh, passionate and romantic relationship. All right. Source is just wanting you to trust your intuition on this one. You know, pay attention to all the, the signs that are flashing. All right. Let's get one more. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Surrender outdated beliefs about yourself. Let go. Okay. Let go of limiting ideas about yourself that originate from the past. Then you can own your power and soar in your life. Okay. So... You're releasing outdated beliefs. You're surrendering fear of intimacy, learning to trust and surrender to your intuition. This is good. All right. And then you have surrender your desire to control people. Um, it came out in the reverse. 
But I definitely do feel like right now there's emphasis on you. Focus on me. Baby, can you focus on me? Baby. I used to always sing that song um, about my divine masculine. And it's funny how energy changes because now every time I hear that song, I I sing it to myself, like telling myself to focus on me. Okay. Energy for the Mercury retrograde and Capricorn occupation. All right. So trust your intuition about an occupation. There could be a new job coming in or there could be um, an opportunity to invest in some sort of uh, occupation. I do see a lot of you guys working very diligently on a craft. Um, you could be investing in your own business. You could be working from home or you could be manifesting working from home. All right. This could be for a company or for yourself. Some of you guys could be getting into seamstry or be, you may be a, sem a seamstress or you tailor clothes or you do something very artistic and crafty with your hands. All right. Um, I see you getting better at that. All right. You got high honor. So we have the number seven here twice in two different ways, the number 34 and the number 25. So I feel like some of you guys are raising your, your could, you could be getting a raise one, a promotion two. Um, I feel like a lot of you guys will be a hard act to follow here with the journey card. All right. Somebody could be you could be getting a promotion and the person that's getting your position. This is going to be like a brand new journey for, for them. But you could have made it look really easy, Earth Signs. Um, but you're definitely going to be going on your own journey as well. The number 10, a new beginning here. And I just seen 10 on the clock when my alarm went off. So 10, 10. So you're on a journey here. Wow. Toil and labor in reverse. I like that. Remember I said it's it's giving attracting. You're not chasing. So you don't have to work so hard. Maybe you did um maybe you did pay your dues. All right. Maybe you did put in the work. You started from the mud or you got it out the mud. Now this new journey, this new life, this new occupation, you're going to be in a more uh honorable position. All right, where you don't have to do most of the work. It's more so delegating and all right, I'm, I'm seeing somebody point here and there. It's like you, it's, it's a delegating position, really. Yeah, mature woman here. Number six, I'm also picking up on a family business here. Somebody could want you to run or take ownership of. Mm -hmm. You got main female. With unexpected income, this could be coming in unexpectedly for you. And it's going to be a blessing to you and your family here. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then I'm picking up on, this is three different people to me. This could be three generations or maybe even four with the child here of women. Yeah, this is giving me generations. And this is also giving me a generational breakthrough. Look, you got unexpected income and, uh, and sudden wealth with courthouse. This is, I mean, I'm getting really good energy with this. Some of you guys, I feel like the courthouse, the trip to the courthouse is a happy one. It's like you're, you're signing documents. You're going to be signing documents. Someone could be signing something over to you, a business to you, a LLC, um, a corporation like this is really good you got how some of you guys could be purchasing a new home or you're looking into purchasing a new home earth signs okay but there's something about a grandmother and a mother a aunt a cousin some sort of support system here and you like there was a genuine support on your journey to to you know, get into this position where you don't have to work so hard. So I'm seeing a hand reaching back. Mm -hmm. 
So you could be giving someone unexpected income. Like you could be blessing someone with money or unexpected income. Yeah, I'm hearing somebody say, this is for you. Like, thank you. Thank you for helping me. Distant horizons. Um, you could be traveling. You could be traveling or looking into travel. Mercury retrograde in the sign of Capricorn. Give me more for this occupation. What's happening here? For my earth signs. Oh, no, we already have 15. The Wheel of Fortune. Mm-hmm. I picked up on that energy. The Wheel of Fortune. So, Faded Events, Five of Wands, and the Nine of Pentacles. So, there could be competition or conflict within your independence. Someone going against your fate or your destiny. Someone having something to say what you are deciding to do long term or as a career or as um, an entrepreneur. Um, I feel like this is working out for you, though. You could be getting ahead of somebody and they're jealous or, you know, they want to fight you for this. All right. Or they want to start some sort of conflict or arguments. This could also be you, Earth Signs, having internal conflict with yourselves about this new path, about this new occupation, um, wondering if this is for you, if this is what you should be doing. Uh, the answer is yes. Queen of Swords here. And the devil, Capricorn energy coming through very strongly. Um, be aware not to get obsessive over this. I also feel like this is like old, stanky, dirty drama coming up from the past. All right. Remember, we are the retrograde means the planet is moving backwards. So there could be an energy coming towards you from the past. Yeah. Page of Swords in the reverse. I feel like this is somebody who you cloaked yourself from. They can't get any information about you or they don't know what you're doing or what you're up to. This could be somebody obsessed with your abundance, with your success, with your occupation. Okay. Could be a toxic ex. All right. Somebody younger as well is what I'm picking up. Could be a younger air sign. Um, yeah. Somebody's in conflict or competition with your success, with your abundance, with the fact that you're maintaining and sustaining yourself at this time so just be aware um king of cups for high honor mm -hmm. you've been doing things honorable with integrity you've been emotional emotionally available for this journey for this new path uh, for this new position i feel like you love what you do or you will all right. And the people around you, they love you, too. They really honor you. They feel like you deserve this position. OK, I'm picking up on recognition. Yeah. Ace of Wands. The fact that you you are emotionally attached to something in a positive way brings you more passionate opportunities for pentacles. You're going to have a lot of opportunities to save. All right. OK, six of cups. So something about children here. Some of you guys could be finding out you're having a child or someone is pregnant. All right. Ace of Wands, Six of Cups. This could be adding on to a family dynamic. All right. This could be someone from your past who you may be finding out is pregnant. I feel like outside of your energy, somebody may be struggling financially, but they're finding out that they're pregnant at the same time. They could be asking you for help. I'm picking up on somebody will not be able to spin irresponsibly anymore with this four of pentacles. Um, give me one more here. Yeah, ace of cups, pregnancy energy again. So somebody definitely is pregnant. This could also just be self-love, being able to afford self-love, self-awareness, self-worth. When I say afford, like this is energy that you are being able to Give yourself what you need to thrive and push forward and be the best version of yourself. Like you're able to pour into yourself. I feel like some of you guys may need to be a little stingy at this time, not when it comes to materialistic things, though, but when it comes to your energy, when it comes to you needing to carve out time for yourself. All right. That's non-negotiable. 
seven of cups here there's that okay so with this coming out on top of journey this is that opportunity to use your intuition and to trust your intuition in regards to decisions or opportunities that may be coming in if you're single this could be opportunities of love you really need to use use your discernment at this time because people could just be interested in your new position or the fact that you know now you're the new coo or ceo temperance here so balance okay we have my eye ten of cups Ooh we okay this is good shit this is good shit six of swords here all right some of you guys may be moving you could be connecting with the sagittarius you could be connecting with the pisces um or an air sign aquarius libra gemini but i definitely do see balance coming in as you as you ascend to this new journey or on this new journey on this new path we got 10 10 here with the the 10 of cups so some of you guys are starting a new family or you're adding on to your family this is wish fulfillment here all right everything that okay i'm picking up on a vision board all right everything that you put on your vision board literally is manifesting during this retrograde all right or the energy of it manifesting will be heightened during this retrograde all right some of you guys could be traveling to go see family or family is coming to you to see you and your family your partner your spouse like there's harmony within the family Hmm, I really like this. What's toil and labor in reverse? All right, you got the two of swords in reverse. Wow. A final decision, the chariot. Victory and success, moving forward, persevering. Like I said, a lot of you guys definitely put in the work. You put in the labor to get to where you are now, which is in the delegating position. So where you don't have to do much here. There's a new vehicle here as well, or there's some sort of movement. I'm also picking up on, you know, just safe travels. Yeah, as soon as I said that, the tower here. So be aware of your traveling, right? Whether you're in a car, a bus, a train, a plane, all right? Um, I know you, you don't have much control over it in the, in, in a, when someone else is in control of the wheel, like if you're on the plane, but you know, just check the weather, check flights. Um, just be cautious, all right, because there's a lot of miscommunication during uh, Mercury retrograde. And this could also have to do with um, on the road, all right? So people either angry, uh, you know what I'm saying, pissed off drivers, not paying attention, driving too fast, being drunk and belligerent, you know, just be cautious on the road is what I'm picking up. Um, whoa, whoa, see how that that's falling? a mini tower here okay so some of you guys could be experiencing a mini tower um but i feel like it's going to be short-lived what what is this all right the knight of cups let's see the magician the moon okay Hold on, y'all. So, and I did not mean to go this long on your reading. Okay. Um, I'm picking up on a lemon okay be aware that somebody does not sell you a lemon if you're getting a new vehicle all right make sure you inspect the vehicle through and through the engine the tires under the hood just everywhere all right be aware of you know a salesman not attempting to fast talk you because i feel like there's something that you may not know about so it'll just be behoove you to do a thorough inspection yourself also there could be some sort of discord within a love dynamic or relationship could be with the cancerian or pisces scorpio aries 
okay? I feel like an offer coming in, it's attached to some sort of tragedy or trauma. I just see someone coming in, attempting to offer something to you, but there's something hiding. They're hiding something. Excuse me. I'm telling you, this could have a lot to do with your new position here. Page of Cups. Some of you guys also may be keeping a pregnancy a secret because you feel like it may cause a tower uh, for your person. All right, let's say that, you know, you're you're dating the person who just got this opportunity and then you found out that you're pregnant as well. You could be a bit fearful to tell them that you're pregnant because you feel like they're going to get upset. All right, you feel like it may be too much on them. I'm seeing that they're going to be really happy. This may not have been a planned pregnancy for some of you. For some of it, for some of you, this is a planned pregnancy. Okay, you guys tried multiple times, and it's finally here. For others of you, I feel like even if it's not a planned pregnancy, this person isn't going to be as upset as you feel like they they're going to be. I actually see a proposal here. This person may be already planning to propose to you with the Harry font and the Knight of Cups. Now, okay, we're gonna leave it there. Let's go into the uh, mature woman. Mature woman for the for the earth signs. What's happening here? The title card. All right. So there's that paperwork or those documentations I was talking about. You got the king of wands in the reverse. Somebody is disgruntled. All right. You got the four of wands. So. Why is the King of Wands in reverse? Um, the High Priestess and the Hangman, double Piscean energy. So there could be a Pisces, piss the fuck off. There's a mistress here. Somebody feels left out or stuck or stagnant. Okay. What? What? I'm hearing somebody feels like a cum rag. Excuse my language. But it's like somebody going to be proposing to you online or they're going to be proposing to you just period. Yeah, somebody's making a final judgment with you. But in the interim, somebody's heartbroken with the Three of Swords. This person knows about you, though, but they kept moving forward with this person. So that may be the secret. Oh, my goodness gracious. Why did it have to just go that way? Six of Wands, something is going to be happening center stage. Two of Cups. Yeah, this this person is going to be proposing to you in front of everybody or a large crowd where this mistress is going to see or this third party, this side chick. I feel like they're pregnant too. That's what's being hidden here. That's going to be the tower. That's going to be the tower. This person finding out they got two people pregnant going into this new position. All right. And that could be the trip to the courthouse from the side chick. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, buddy. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Queen of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Page of Wands. So this person is going to keep this baby. They happy. I feel like whoever this is, they're going to be happy that you're pregnant, but they're not happy about this other situation. All right. So I'm going to leave that there. Love you so much, Herb Signs. Like the video and I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.